you see if you can find out your Steve Hardy for me, please? Yes, sir. Right away. Hi. Ah, uh, hi. You've been examined? Yeah, from head to toe. Sorry we had to put you through that, but we have to take every precaution. I understand. We have no idea how much of that bacteria might have been released or how it might affect anyone else. Now, if you experience any of the symptoms we told you about, you let us know immediately. Don't worry about me. I'm pretty tough. Yeah, well, those tiny little germs are tougher. I saw what they could do in Nam. I'll be fine. I'll make my way home, and uh, if there's any reason, I'll give you a call. Thanks. Buzz, I... I don't want to put you on the spot again, but... Well, I, I still don't know where Anna is. She wouldn't tell me, and I was wondering if you knew. She didn't tell me either. If she had, believe me, I'd let you know. Excuse me. Dr. Steve Hardy's gone home. He left where he can be reached if necessary. Thank you. I'll make my way. I'll go ahead, and if I have any reason, I'll call you. All right. First, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. I think it's going to be a... We have to hurry up. I don't want to be late for school. Hey, it's not even 8 o'clock yet. Well, I'll be late for kickball. No, you won't be late. Here, put this on. And then how many times I tell you not to play with the ball in the house, eh? Well, I need to play the game. I'm getting rusty. Oh, you weren't away that long. It felt like forever. So <laughs> good to be back. Yes. The best part of all, Mommy will be back soon, too. Yes, yeah, she will. <laughs> okay, we go. Oh, I almost forgot. I what? bought you a present. A present? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. Open it. Oh, yes, right away. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Soap and, 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 and shampoo and, and what is this? Oh, this is perfume. Oh. <laughs> and all free for the hotel we stayed in. From the hotel? Oh. Oh, it's good. Hmm, that's very good. Can can we go? Because I don't want to be late. Oh, yes, we go right away. I can't let you be late today after you brought me all these beautiful presents. And now I have to think of something nice to do for you, too. Could you take me to Little Italy? Because I haven't seen Francesca and Luigi in a long time, and I miss them. Yes, we go right after school, yes? Oh, great. Maybe Mary Angela will invite us to stay for dinner. She will. I will tell her, okay? Yes. We have a nice Italian dinner. Come on, I don't ask for that many favors. Crisco, this is one hell of a way to start my day. Listen, you promised me, you told me you would be here today. I know that, but Sean needs me here. I need you here. Do you have any idea the kind of a backlog we've got here? The kind of problems I've got on my hands? We're talking one day. You've got plenty of manpower here. Sean is all alone. He needs to help. Everybody needs help. We've got a woman over in Oakdale. She needs help. Her husband's a wife beater. We've got a landlord down on the waterfront. He needs help. He's got uh, truckies piling up in his foyer. We've got the traffic division. They need help. They've got scofflaws trying to beat tickets. Listen, Sean needs help. I need help. You, oh, wait a minute. Maybe you're above such mundane police matters. Give me any case you want to, all right? I'll work overtime without pay if I have to. I'll take anything you give me, just not today, all right? I'm asking you for one day. All right. I better see your bright, shining face here first thing in the morning. Otherwise, you can start thinking about kissing this department goodbye. I'll be there first thing. And thanks, I owe you. Our luck may be changing. Barrett wants to see me, so stick close. Because if he tells me where Alistair is hiding, I want you to move and move fast. Come on. Wake up, temperature going up fast, Sean. Help me. You have to help me. We're doing all we can, Roger. The antidote. I need the antidote. I've already explained to you. We, we don't know if we could use it. You have to. It's the only thing that could help me. The we only thing. No, the side effects. I don't care. I don't want to die. It's the only thing. Patrick, have a few minutes alone. The antidote. The antidote. All right, a few. I'll be outside. Thanks. The antidote. Boy, you're really uh, running off, aren't you, buddy? Shame. I wonder if Hal oh. feels like this. Hmm? You. The hell away from me. Oh, now, come on, Barrett. I'm like an angel of mercy around here. I came to help. Probably help you a lot more, too. You, uh, care for some water? You thirsty? Huh? Oh, you don't want water. Oh, that's too bad. I'm thinking myself, then. Hmm. Would I happen to tell you the antidote's on its way? Really can't blame the doctors for not wanting to give it to you, either, because if it doesn't work, 
You could probably slap them with a uh, malpractice suit. But then again, you really couldn't do that, could you? You'd be dead. What do you want? I want Alistair. <laughs> now, Barrett, your loyalty is admirable, but very unfortunate. It'd be fun about these things, but we are both running out of time. You more than me, and it's his life for yours. Now, the only thing that's going to help you is the antidote. And I'm the only guy in this hospital to make sure that you get it. And all I want in return is Alistair. Alistair. Yes, Alistair. You feel any delirium yet? Huh? You feeling it? That high fever that peaks and peaks and peaks and starts to burn out your brain? And a very slow thing from the body. Oh, well, Hamilton, Hamilton Avenue. <laughs> Where else are Loft or is he alone? Loft, he's alone. What's the address? 1206 Hamilton Avenue. I told you I'd get lucky. Alistair's at 1206 Hamilton Avenue and the Loft, he's alone. I'll send the WSP to back you up and go get him. But is it true that the two individuals who were infected by this bacteria are clinging to their lives at this very moment? Well, I, I can't comment on, on that at, at the moment. All I can say is we have every hope for their recovery. One more question, Dr. Hardy. Is it true, as the rumors have been implying, that anyone in the hospital, or even in the vicinity of the hospital for that matter, can still be affected by this bacteria? Yes, yes, that's true. But I'd like to emphasize once again that there's no reason for anyone to panic. However, if anyone is experiencing any... Um, yes, hello, this is Lucy Coe. I would like to talk to Dr. Tony Jones, please. Oh, you, well, you're in luck. He's right here, Dr. Jones, for you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I should have called you. I, I was just sitting here watching Dr. Hardy on television, and it, I can't believe this is happening. Well, uh, none of us can. Well, I think we're in collective shock, but we're functioning. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, the television is making it sound horrible. I can't believe it's that bad. You know how media hypes everything, is it? Well, not this time. It's very serious, Lucy. You mean people could actually die? I think there's a chance we can save them. We're going to know soon. Well, I, I'm, I'm afraid to ask. Um, uh, who are they, Tony? Do I know any of them? I don't want to upset you. One is the guy who brought the German to the hospital. It's Roger Barrett and Bobby. Bobby, um, well, she'll be all right, won't she? Lucy, it's bad. She's lost the use of her legs. Look, I gotta go now. I'll talk to you later. Are you Connie? Yes. I'm Dr. Jones. Did you bring the antidote? Yes, yes, it's right here. All right, nurse, I want Dr. Engstrom in ICU stat. Take these people to the medication room, and I want two piggyback infusions. Two. We have a second patient if you have enough. No problem. I always make extra in case of mishaps. All right, follow the nurse, please. Okay, we have the antidote. I've ordered the injection. I'm just waiting on buzzes. Okay. Where is it? This way. General Hospital will continue in a moment. Buzz. Be with you in a minute. He'll be right out. It's been a long night for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been for all of us. You going to sleep at all? A little. I've trained myself to sleep under pressure. This time it wasn't so easy. Anyway, I'm fine. My mind is clear, and I'd like to do everything I can to help reach a decision. What is it? The antidote's here. I've ordered the injections. I'm just waiting on your go-ahead. Tony, I've been struggling with this all night. No matter how I look at it, I cannot authorize the use of that antidote without FDA clearance. Oh, Jake, I'm sorry. About you Mom. can't authorize it. Wait, 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 wait. What about the next best thing? All right, what's that? Authorization from the FDA to begin testing on humans. Can you get it? Well, we can try. Strictly speaking, it would only apply to a killed form of MOX. What does that mean? Well, it means that the worst that could happen if we use the antidote on human beings is a minor illness. So the problem is, is it just the bacteria's alive, right? Yes, correct. So would that ease your mind? Yeah, it'd help. Greta. 
Is the antidote relatively safe? I mean, in your development of it, you must have anticipated possible side effects. Yes. A higher fever, elevated blood pressure, occasionally impairment of kidney function. All of which could lead to further complications. It's very risky. Yeah, but Buzz, there's something else to consider here. Roger Barrett is a qualified geneticist. He knows every risk involved, right? Yes, he's brilliant. He knows about as much as, of this as, as, as I do. All right, now he's asking for that antidote. In fact, he is demanding you give it to him. Jake, you've heard all this. If I authorize the use of the antidote, you and Bobby anymore. want us Absolutely. to use it. Absolutely. I'm going to ask Bobby. All right. While he's doing that, I'll get on the phone. We can at least ask the FDA for special emergency clearance. Hey, kiddo. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. It hurts, doesn't it? What? I wish I could take the pain away. Mm. Listen to me, sweetheart. The antidote is here. Do you hear me? The antidote is here. Mm. Buzz is trying to get authorization to use it. Well, what the hell authorization has to do with you? It's okay. It's risky. It could make things worse. Mm. Do you want them to use it on you? Mm. I don't know. I'm awesome. I can't make the decision for you. Whatever he is, he's a scientist. He knows the risks involved, and he wants them to use it on him. What should we do, Jake? I am coming! Here I am! Oh, oh mamma mia! What I do now? You could ask me in, I hope. I'd like to talk to you. Yes, of course. Come in, Duke. Thank you. How are you? Hello. Does this mean they're back? Oh, just Robin. She was homesick. What about Anna? When's she gonna come back? Oh, I don't know. Well, I'm glad Robin's here. I was, I was concerned about her. Oh, she is fine now that she is home. Oh, she is full of energy, like always. <laughs> I'd love to see her. When's a good time? Well, I, I... I will have to let you know. Oh, you've got to call Anna and get permission. If you want to tell me where Anna is, I'll, I'll call her myself. Oh, oh, Mama Mia. Oh, I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable. You know, I know that you was going to ask me this even before you open your mouth. Oh, God, forgive me. I want so much to tell you. I feel so bad about you and Anna. Oh, I, I could cry. So please, don't tempt me because, <laughs> because I will cry. No more tears, thank you very much. There have been enough, and I won't press you. Oh, you know, I, I promised Anna that I would not tell you, and, and I just... Uh, I can't tell you. My lips have to be closed. I can't break my promise. You know that. I understand that. And I appreciate you being so loyal to Anna for taking care of her. You know, I miss you. I miss coming around here. Oh. Thank you for having me. And I'll go home and I'll, I'll wait for your call, OK? Oh. Uh, oh, oh wait. What? Wait. Wait. I, I want to show you something. Let me see. Uh, look what, what Robin brought me from, from New York. Well, yes. isn't this something, all the way from New York? Yes. Do you know what a good friend you are? And you never told me anything. <laughs> oh, good luck to you. See you. Okay. Bye. 